believe his first story was he left in the two side. But then we know he left in the Audi where they're saying they found his hair because he stops at a uh, all change place at nine. But he wants you to believe our witness is horrific murder in the early morning hours, whatever, right? And then, you know, I stop and do an all change at nine o'clock on October 5th. They have records. If they don't submit them, I will. Now, more importantly, in this affidavit where they, which leads to an arrest, which leads to search warrants, they lie about Marcellus' blood being found with Chuck's blood. When I say Chuck, I'm referring to Charles Beltran. Oh, okay, let me, let me, let me rephrase that. They don't, she, she says it appears we believe that the blood that's found with uh, Marcellus belongs to Lisa Dice and uh, Lena Moreno <coughs> and Chuck Beltran. The blood that's found in that house, their blood is found together. That's how she gets this arrest for. All that blood is supposed to be found together. They use words like it appears, uh, we believe, but they're still telling a judge, they're referring to a judge, that all these people were together and we find her blood, all their blood together. That's what they're telling them to get this arrest for. Then subsequent to that, they say that the uh, Nina and Lisa's phones are found in a tense area uh, where the body uh, is later found. That's what the evidence is going to show, ladies and gentlemen. Again, all that was speculation. And, and, and we'll argue more about, you know, where their phones actually go to and will. But more importantly, I want you to know that when Swiss, who does our forensics, does the DNA, yeah, there is blood belonging to uh, Marcellus. But it's not with, it doesn't belong to Chuck. It doesn't belong to Lisa. It doesn't belong to Daniel. It belongs to another female and another male.